this loud explosion shook all the windows in the house. The deadliest mass murder in Colorado modern history. There was a seat of the airplane with a body in it. Dynamite stuffed in a woman's suitcase, an airplane blown apart in Longmont, dozens murdered. Blown to bits in the northern Colorado sky. And the man behind it all hoping to collect life insurance from his mother. Yeah, you, know, you don't even realize what you're experiencing at the time until after the fact. 64 years later, it still haunts a Colorado couple, a couple who was the first to rush to the scene. Number seven is Ivan Rodriguez with what they heard and saw. Colorado wasn't used to seeing televised trials, but this was the trial of the decade back in the 1950s. This is the first court trial ever televised in the state of Colorado. The dark-haired boy with the crew cut is John Gilbert Graham. John Gilbert Graham, the young man who would die in a Colorado gas chamber for downing that DC-6, murdering everyone on board. Just finishing supper that night, Conrad Hopp and his wife Martha remember the horrific details that began when something lit up the night sky over Longmont. Flight 629 left Stapleton International Airport at 6.52 p.m. The sun was sinking behind the Rockies. The plane turned westward toward its destination of Portland, Oregon. 11 minutes into the flight, just as the plane reached 10,000 feet, it vanished from radar. Air traffic controllers say they saw a bright flash in the sky to the northwest of the tower. Conrad Hopp heard what controllers saw. This loud explosion that shook all the windows in the house and we looked outside and well, we could hear the roar of the engines and the ball of fire coming through the air. The Hopp family knew something horrible had just occurred. We got in my car and we drove out through a lot of the debris in the field from the plane and there was a big ball of fire on the ground. The impact of what he saw when he and his brother got out of the truck that cold November night has stayed with him to this day. He said to me, go get some coats because it was cold and neither one of us had our coat on. And uh, he said, I'll stay here. And I turned around to, excuse me, go to my car. And uh, there was a seat of the airplane with a body in it. Flames and twisted metal peppered the field for Conrad, the first thought was survivors. Are there survivors? There was one uh, body that went into a straw pile. You know, you don't find all of the bodies. and So we physically had to fork that whole straw pile apart and uh, to find the body. The six square mile debris field did not include survivors. All 39 passengers and five crew on board died when a dynamite-packed suitcase exploded, ripping the plane in half, the tail section landing in Hop's sugar beet field. Twelve days later, the FBI zeroed in on the killer, 23-year-old John Gilbert Graham. He confessed to planting a time bomb in his mother's luggage, 25 sticks of dynamite disguised as a gift for his mother, Daisy King. At the crash site, mixed with the smells of fuel and death, Conrad says he could smell something else. In life, I had been experienced with dynamite and I knew by the smell because I said right away I can smell dynamite. The FBI says the son bought more than $37,000 in life insurance on his mother before the flight took off. The horror of that act has never left Conrad. The bodies, a lot of them were out in this area out in here. The one child that was on the plane, uh, his body was found over in the other farm over here. More than 60 years later, development is crowding out the site where Flight 629 came to rest. There are no markers, no memorials, just memories of a day that changed the lives of mothers, fathers, sons and daughters of 44 people on a flight from Denver to Portland. A flight that ended with a single act of greed. At that point in time, you, know, you don't even realize what you're experiencing at the time until 
after the fact. When you think about it later, it takes its toll. Ivan Rodriguez, Denver 7.